What's going on, family? I hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. It is a beautiful day out here. And, um, well, today we're heading out to a particular spot. Zeus has a play date. What's going on, family? So, look, I'm doing this in this part of this video because I want you guys to understand. This is a very long video. This started out in a place, or at least we planned on going in a particular direction and end up um, going organically to a place, man, there's a lot of great information in this video. This is gonna um, help a lot of people. So I hope you guys stick around and watch this thing to the end. As a matter of fact, this is gonna be a part two. So in this video, we're gonna try to cover um, most of the review of his car. In part two, we're gonna talk about the other stuff that we talked about. You guys don't want to miss this. This guy has something special, some really good information. He's a super smart guy. And uh, for anybody that's chasing after some of these gold cars, <laughs> this is the video for you. So if not this one, also the next one. Make sure you guys watch it to the end and then wait for part two. It's coming. So uh, let's get back to the video. All right. What's going on, family? Yep, we are headed out to a spot. About to meet one of my buddies, man. Uh, you guys, I introduced him to you guys once before on the channel. Um, but today, we're linking up, right? So we're going to do a little, you know, little review type beat type situation type thing, you dig? So we're going to be getting together and uh, we're going to be talking about cars, man. So he's also a YouTuber. I'm going to give him an opportunity to interview me. We're going to talk about what we did to Zeus and where we where it stands. We're going to do the same with his car. Talk to each other. Kind of go, you know, have a little interview type thing with each other, man. You know, we working something out, right? So, I got a few of these actually set up, man. Um, I've been meeting some quite interesting people. That guy has some very interesting cars. He has a very interesting car. So, um... Yeah, man, we're going to get popping on this, man. But before we get into all that funny, fun stuff in the details, we got to take care of a little business, man. Hey, look, a lot of new subscribers. We are on our way, guys. We are on our way to 1,000. Um, we're trying to hit that 1K real quick, like, man. So please, 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 man, if you guys haven't already, you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, post notification bell to all so you'll know every time we're posting um videos also to all the new subscribers thank you guys for coming and hanging out man you guys could be anywhere you could be anywhere looking at any channel you are right here right now looking at this channel so let me say hey thank you thank you thank you that dude hair was weird but anyway um <laughs> uh also all my returning supporters to the channel hey man thank you guys for hanging out with your boy man you know, my goal is to try to keep bringing you guys fresh, new, different content. Not just the same old mundane. You know, I go, man, hey, we don't like to be average. So our goal is to try to bring, bring, you know, bring new and fresh and really cool content to the table. And I'm exploring every opportunity for that for you guys. Seeing what you like, seeing what you don't like. And hey, man, love the comments, man. I appreciate you guys tearing up them comments, man. Um, continue, man. I feed off of that, man. Especially if you see something you like, you see something you don't like, that is helpful for me to make sure that I'm cleaning up what I'm bringing to you guys and, and only bringing you guys the best. That's my goal, man. Make sure you guys comment, man. Make sure you comment. And listen, man, you got to hit that like button, man. That's like walking to somebody's house and shaking their hand, man. That's that. How you doing? Good evening, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Ma'am. So on and so forth. That's that handshake, you dig? And it's important to understand, man, for us YouTubers, man, like button matter, man. Hashtag LBM. So um, look, man, we on the road. We about to head out and meet my guy, man. I'm excited about this. Um, Cause the last 
last time I met up with someone and did car reviews, they had a similar car. Yep, yep, yep. They really did. They had a similar car. However, I was in a different vehicle. For those who've been watching the channel for a while, you guys are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. But stick around, man. Stick around. Make sure you watch the whole video because this should be a real good one. Um, who knows what gems are going to come out of this, man. You know, again, remember, your boy's about relationships, man. We ain't about just doing you know things for no reason there got to be some value in that man it's all about relationships and relationships aren't one-sided so it's not about using a person it's about ebb and flow give and take you did um and our goal is to is to grow a better relationship with this guy man he's a really cool guy um everybody so far that i've been dealing with it you know it's been mutual about linking up and doing something together because of what we've established already so that's the plan, man. And if you guys are out there dealing with people, understand the difference between a friend and associate, man. Most of your associates, you know, they, I'll put it to you like this. Your friends, they gonna call you. They gonna communicate with you. Friends call, communicate, check in on you. They gonna show you some kind of love. They may even lean on you a little bit. That's, that's, a, that's a friend, that's a buddy. Your associates, yeah, chances are you chasing them down. And if you're chasing them down, that means you're trying to make them something that they're not. You're trying to put them in a position that they're not. Maybe they're not a friend. You know, maybe they're just an associate. And maybe that's the lane that they should remain in, right? Because if you are trying to establish a friendship and it, it's not reciprocated. You know, as opposed to getting yourself upset or in a bad place because of a person that isn't willing to be in position, a friendship position with you, man, maybe it's time for you to just uh, <laughs> keep them in as an associate. Don't put no, don't, don't invest that much into that. All you're gonna do is hurt your feelings. Don't expect too much from it either. It's not all they're gonna lead you to disappointment. But anyway, listen guys, we're gonna get on this road. We're gonna focus on enjoying Zeus a little bit. Uh, if we see anything in Ralph, man, I'll make sure I turn on so you guys, and I'll share it with you if I can catch it quick enough. And I uh, like this guy in this yellow C6. See that? Y'all saw that wave? Y'all saw that wave? Man, all these new C8 owners out there, if you're checking out my channel. Man, I hope y'all waving at people, man. Carvette has a community. No different than these motorcycles or Jeeps. There is an actual community, and we communicate with each other. We wave. Get on the ball, new C8 drivers. Just saying. But anyway, like I said, man, we're going to lock down. And focus on this road, and I get back at you guys in a second. All right, yeah. What's going on, family? We are in the parking lot, about to get hit by cars. This lady is laughing at me because I'm about to get hit by the car. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and uh, guys, uh, let y'all know who we out here with, man. Y'all seen them on the channel once before. Um, and I never really got a chance to share the big picture of this brother. So let me, I'm gonna give y'all some background real quick. He's a YouTuber, got a beautiful car. His car is also named Zeus. We're not gonna hold that against him. You know, I ain't seen nothing about his, you know, naming his car before my car was named and the name was out there official. So we know who number one is, just saying. <laughs> uh, he does Corvette videos. He has a channel, he has a car channel. He does review, he talks about cars and so on and so forth. What I really like about his channel is an, it's intelligent. It's intelligent, it's, it's smart. He does stuff that make you think. You can tell he didn't come to the table with nothing when he decided to present to you guys, man. So, uh, let me let me let me let me let y'all let me introduce y'all to my brother, man. Wow, what's going on, man? Tell the people who you are. So my friends call me Show. I got the channel called I See Every Drivers Edition. As you see, I'm getting mic'd up to get ready to do my own yeah, video. Man, it's, he, I love it. He, he go heavy in the paint. Listen, <laughs> he go he go heavy, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my car name is Zeus. Like I said, like he said, the difference with my car is the color is called Zeus Bronze. It was the cheapest spinoff of just not saying bronze, so we called it Zeus. Look at this thing, guys. 
Sheesh. With my car, you get Aerolari wheels, which was an upgrade because I couldn't stand the C8 wheels. <laughs> and let's talk about what's special about these Aerolari wheels, man. Okay, so what's special about these Aerolari wheels is one, I pretty much designed them. That's why you see ICMBE, which stands for ICMBE Driver's Edition, you know, engraved in the wheel. One of two ninety nine. Correct. It's the first set. I'm probably gonna order two more. Um, it's one two ninety nine. First set. Pretty much, I wanted something that would still keep the performance aspect of the car, right. but give it a step up into more of a luxury appeal and not just the sports car on the street. Right. I right. debated between five spokes. I debated between something similar to your wheel design but i just felt like all that screen was muscle car and speed mm -hmm. and i wanted something that when you see it it's the ish. first thing you didn't think of <laughs> was racing you know what i'm saying right right so i felt like it gave it more of a classy appeal not gonna lie to you i thought the wheels gonna be a lot bit darker than what they are right but i wanted them polished so when i polished them out they were supposed to be more of like of a, a smoke grayish like a gunmetal gray yeah but when i polished them out it didn't work out like that so would you say that your wheels a lubri I mean uh can't it brought forward the, the uh show? <laughs> what I would sit there and say to you Would you think it brought out the show though? I would say would to you Would you think it brought out the smoke no, display? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful beautiful wheel. I and in my opinion, this. it's that is a show wheel, bro. No, it presents I, I super say, well. I would say like this, it does, and the thing about it is it's way more photogenic than I thought it was gonna be. It looks way, I'm not gonna say way better, it, but it, it never looks bad in a photo, which is crazy about it. <laughs> that's, that's things, facts. It never that's looks facts. bad in a photo. I don't care what the situation you is. You can be a person and like, man, that thing dirty is, you know. Yeah. But in the picture, it never it never turns out bad. Like we, we saw your car, I found your car at somebody's thumbnail. Okay. On their video, yes. and the picture was popping. When I saw it, I'm like, I know exactly whose car I yeah. is, and it was the wheels and the paint. Yep, it was the wheels and the paint, man. And that's the thing about it, like, the car is rare. It is like one thousand. Uh, it's one of one thousand forty-eight, but <laughs> it goes deeper than that. And that's let's, what I try to tell people. Let's, let's, and I think that's where we go. Let's talk about your spec. It goes deeper than that because my spec is one of 1048 but then when you switch over to it it becomes when you go to zeus bronze it becomes one of 100 convertibles wow so y'all heard that right so just the spec itself is in the thousands one of one uh, in the thousands but when you go to the color and you you combine that with the vertible convertible it goes to one of 100 wow but it gets deeper than that because wow oh. when you go to <laughs> I, I see one the more thing and the black top <laughs> yeah. right yeah. it's supposed to be one of ten <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about it it's kind of hard to narrow that down so they couldn't really, literally give me a documentation on it but what did change is once you go to the interior spec it becomes one of 23 wow so i have one of one in 23 in the interior spec of natural leather two-tone and so forth and that's what makes it crazy so people are like oh your car just is like it's just another c8 but then you always hear me i love that combination this of combination the natural interior yes and so forth. it's popping the and that's because the you don't see it most people couldn't see the vision so when they got a Zeus bronze car, they just went all black and tinted. Nah, you can't. Which is the most predominant color. It's very predictable and very easy. Yeah. It's safe. It's safe. Very safe. Or they went all natural with everything in his natural all interior. color. And most people complain about that. So if you go that route, I don't even know the convertible aspect, but I know it was more of all natural, all black. It was all black dominated and so forth in this car. So it, like I said, there's a, not, a couple of specs that make this car rare. And so what's funny about it is because people tell me all the time, oh, 2020 CAs ain't going for that type of money no more, right? Yeah. Well, I took my car off for service. The first time I took it off for service, I was like, oh, Zeus Bronze, we never seen a Zeus Bronze car. I got it. This was last year in 2021. Yeah. Right before my annual, you know, got my free oil change and my so they did it. The guy came back now, which is funny. Now I want you to understand this. I took it to the dealership for service. I already had the paperwork from another dealer. 
the dealer was at came back and was like man joe this car is like really unique you know with the black and is like one of ten but he was showing me how he calculated but he couldn't give me nothing to say to right right he was like it's like one of 23 and i'm like yeah i know i have all the paper he's like really he was like well if you ever decide to move it, let us know <laughs> so i took it in for service this year yeah <laughs> june 28th to be exact yeah and they offered me a hundred and one thousand she but people tell me you can't get that type of money for yeah it. you can yeah you can and like i try to tell everybody is it's not that you can't get the money you got to take it where your car is appreciated yeah, yeah, and then that so that's the other side of it guys let's 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 be realistic about all this stuff these cars have a value and it depends on the person. It's, there's perspective and value, right? And it depends on the individual. There's people that has that can see this vision and understand exactly what he has. And let me tell you something. Before, and I know he's going to probably. I wonder if I can. Can, Go for it. can I step? Can, I'm gonna step a little bit further. So he told you that this spec, color, interior, roof landed, especially on this spec lands this car within a at a one of ten i'm gonna show you what makes this car a one of one how many of you seen this color this spec with a duck bill spoiler that's one of one none of them none of them have these wheels this is a one of one What's, what's, what's kind of funny about it? I don't want to come cut on, it off. Man. Like, no, no man, no. This your car, talk. I had a guy tell me, "Oh, I bet you can't get that type of money taking the Carmax." I said, "Come on, man." Come on, man. Carmax I, gonna sell this car for hundred twenty all day. But here's the thing, I'm, and I'm not dumb. So this is where it steps back, and like he gave y'all a little. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit more background on me in a second. But here's the thing, I'm like, look, I'm not dumb. I take it to Carmax. I told y'all there's intelligence in the things that he presents. His brother ain't <laughs> dumb. I'm telling y'all, man. Listen, he went to the smart branch of the service air force it's also a vet he ain't dumb just saying man so here's the thing about it <laughs> if you don't know carmax don't sell modified cars the minute you put the wheels on it it's modified so carmax will take the car pull the wheels off and throw them in the trash can oh regardless of how much you pay for it. trust me i know this what yes they would throw them in the trash can so you know, Carmax gave me a bag for my Chrysler, and it was all the way modified. Oh, they'll give you money for it, Jeez. but they won't sell it. You will never see it pop up on their page. What they'll do is, and this is why I try to tell people who complain about people with, Lam with uh, vertical doors or Lambo doors, they call like, oh, you devalue your car. Carmax will take the car. There were certain dealers that specialize in selling certain things. So they'll move, so they'll it, move they'll it, it to, that. to them. They'll move it straight to them because they have the contacts that you don't have. This leans on, there's a value to something, everything has a value to someone, it's all in within perspective. Correct. So like I was trying to explain to the gentleman, the minute my car has the modern wheels on it, they're gonna they're gonna come to me saying, yeah, we gotta bring it back to factory specs. They're gonna lowball me, I already play know you. this. <laughs> so my thing is, I would never take it to CarMax to sell with these wheels on it. You gotta understand that. And like, so now what, what brings it back, like he was getting my little spectrum thing is, I sold cars. For about this. seven years. Come on now. Come on now. I sold Chevys and Corvettes back when it was the C6 to C7. Tell them about so it, man. So I understand how the market's played. <laughs> Not only was that, I was also taught how to appraise vehicles. Oh, my God. By one of the greatest used car salesmen, or I'm going to say sales manager ever. Lou Peretta, if you're watching, you know we talk about you. <laughs> and I say that because this man literally doesn't even write deals. He's so good at appraising and buying cars that he was doing this for nine dealers at one time. Oh and that's why people couldn't compete with him because he would go out, his book was his his checkbook was too deep. He would go out and buy multiple cars and get deals on cars because he's buying 70 at one time. Jeez. So you can't compete with him because he knows the value. He'll come in and he'll write a check for 70 cars and send them to 10 different dealers. Oh my God, man. So I was taught by the best. That's what you understand it. So when I tell you this stuff, you getting free game, but you don't understand how you getting a free game. Listen, man, if y'all want more game, <laughs> please make sure y'all go and subscribe to this channel. For real, man, this brother, he knows a intelligence. Just that's, I, I'm just saying, he's bringing, he ain't bringing, he, like my mama used to say, man, 
And he opened up his mouth, he got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, it's a beautiful car, it's a beautiful spec. I ended up with it because the, the car game is so dirty and I understand that. I don't get mad, that's why I said, people say, oh, you know, you for the car sales. I'm not for the car sales. I'm actually for the consumer. Yeah. I've, I, I get a kick out of selling cars and buying cars. The thing about it is, I probably buy more cars than y'all even know I buy. Mm. I go out with people to buy cars. I have co-workers like, man, you coming? No, no problem. I buy, I probably do about 30 to 70 deals a year. And I get no benefit from it. Yeah. Except for the simple fact that I like sitting down arguing with a person and negotiating with something they're going to tell me. me. That was me. <laughs> so that was my thing. Um, I love buying. This market has changed things for me. And I'm, I'm sure he can concur. Pe because people now will buy a car on the internet and would get it and ship it no matter where it is. It changes the, the game a lot. Before... But it, before internet had such a strong play on cars and buying cars, I love sitting down and having a conversation and going. And, and listen, man, one of my biggest pet peeves when it came to sitting down at that table and uh, discussing a price of a vehicle and the purchase of a vehicle was that the per that purchase he relied on that purchase for his livelihood. I ain't gotta buy a car, so I never had to, I never sat across that table when I needed a car. I always sat across that table when I wanted to buy a car. Correct. If I was buying a car for my wife, my wife, I just asked her, just they just sit back and be quiet, hold your mouth. You can laugh out. if you need to, walk away if you can't hold it. But I'm gonna be this real cold guy to a point where I'm, you know, listen, man, time is money. If you can't give me the number, your man has got to get the number. Call me at the crib. I'm not sitting here for hours trying to work a deal. That was just my mantra, and and I I enjoyed it. Anybody that was buying, I like finding cars. I like sourcing them. I find what you need and help you buy it. Yep. This market is different. I'm thinking this guy has a better way of doing it than I can right now because I'm not in. I'm not in tune with the way the market is today. So listen, if you're not paying attention to what he's doing on his channel, I will be because I'm still interested in cars across the board. But I'm interested also in learning how this market works today. It's so different, guys. And you know that's something true. Like I've been asked to do a video. I started one. I never really. Man, finished. you need to it's, do it. It's too much up here, and my mind jumps. Like I, I would start out talking about buying a car, and then I get into like what you should check. Organize it. Do me a favor. Just, Work out. Make it three videos. Organize one thought and get there. Come on, I gotta, bro. I gotta get it. Done. That's a master for class, this, man. For this market, I gotta get it. That done is a market. master's class. People need to know that. They got people right now that think that it's okay just to buy cars at the prices that they are without yeah. having a little bit more ammunition to come to the, the table with. The real thing with buying cars in this market, and you said the key word, and I've always been that person. I don't buy a car when I have to. That's key. I buy a car when I want something. That's key, that's key. So, to me, and I, my, my second thing is, get the best deal. Yes. You can't buy a car the first time you go out. Right. Right. See what they have to offer. You compare. You may have to say no, and that's the problem. With most people they get scared. If I say no, Dude, I won't you, I'm say not going to get it again. Yeah, I'm not going to get it again. The right. car is going to be gone, especially when it comes to the C8. But I will tell you one thing about the C8, regardless of what people want to believe or think about this, is you'll always find another. One. Yeah. And the one beautiful thing that you said that changes the game is the internet. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the key to buying a car in this market. Come on. Don't buy it in a major city. There you go. Oh, so listen. Uh, <laughs> when I started looking for my C8, right? I started shopping C8 when I I had it set in my head. It was not too long after I took that ride with Stunner. I had it in my head. I was going to get a vet. I didn't know which one. I know I wanted the C7, but I was like, you know what? Let's go and get the C8. When I started doing my research and I got a tip, I got a tip. From my brother Stunner, he said, don't buy it in a major city. Buy it in one of the smaller cities where they don't have the major markups. They're not going to mark it up as much. And I found one in a smaller city. And the guy, I literally got the guy down to a $5,000 markup. This wasn't for a car that he had on his lot. This was, this, and that was another thing. This was a car that was in route, mm -hmm. right? So he had a car in route. But it was the, the factor was going to a smaller city. Go to Podunk Town that's getting these cars. Don't go to a major city. 
because the major city has more traffic, meaning they have more people to compete for that car, yep. which means they're going to have more dollars being thrown at that car. Small cities helps. Man, that's listen. I I think I'm I'm thinking I might be all right, man. I'm I've already learned a little something before, man. Listen, it's, 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 that's the biggest thing to it, man. Look in a small city, and I say that because the key word in markup or dealer markup is the market. Yeah. And so every market is different. Yeah. You in Chicago, the market. People spend money in Chicago. People spend money in New York. It's a lot People of money. People spend money in Dallas. They spend money in Houston. They spend money in Atlanta. They damn sure spend money in Los Angeles. And if you want to really just, know they spend money at, yeah. Florida. Yeah, Florida. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, why, the, that's yeah. why a lot of people say C8's are a dime a dozen in Florida because people have no problem throwing that money at it. But when you start going to Iowa, yeah. when you get out in Nebraska, when you get out in Wyoming, when you get out in <laughs> Idaho, I got my car from the middle of Pennsylvania. That's what I'm talking about. People I was don't Idaho. throw that I was same at money. Idaho. No, it's different. It's different. It's different. And the internet gives you access, but like I said, you got you know where you stand. That's the first thing. Because one thing I always tell people, and I hear this a lot, is I control my deals. So I Boy, go to my stay. credit union. I go to my, I got, I got banks I only deal with for buying cars. There you I just go. be real with you. There I got you a go. credit union in Wisconsin. I don't got to deal with them people buying cars. There you go. There so you I, go. I hit Navy Federal up. There you I go. hit credit union one up. And I hit, I think it's called Cor, Corvus Course or something like that in Wisconsin. I hit them up. Sounds familiar. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, and I go, I hit them three banks up every time. I see what money I can play with. And then I go look for a car. So if I like something, I already, I'm going to just shoot me a copy of the bill of sale. I'm going to send it over. You should have your Check. paperwork or so forth. To lock it up, lock up this deal within a matter of an hour. Guys, like I told y'all, before you buy a car, he said it, know where you are. You already should know before you even start buying a car, what you, what you can afford if you're paying cash and what your note should be if that's the yes. case you should already know where you are from a financial perspective before any and every major purchase that is part of the preparation in your game if you're not if you don't know where you are then then you need it's not time to buy a car then you should be looking man look at this thing i'm sorry guys uh, y'all saw it look like a vert firebird anyway <laughs> guys if you don't know where you are, you should not be buying a car. You should know where you are. That means you should know where you are from a credit perspective. And if you need some work to be done, then you do that work before you go and let these people run through your credit and then charge you an arm and a leg on top of the car. Never put yourself in a situation where you're paying for that car twice. I'm just saying. 100% agree with that one, Man, bro. Got these gems, got these gems. I hope y'all learning, man. Like we ain't get together to tell y'all the same lie twice. The car twice. industry is a dirty game, but you gotta understand, it is a game. Some people love to play it like me, and that's that's the beautiful thing, because I sold up. a car and I love people come in and tell me what I can't do. Oh, yeah. Because I just flip it, <laughs> and I would do it, and you wouldn't know I would do it, because, all right, rule number one, don't never let a dealer change the car. There that's, you go. That's, that's your, that's the best tip I'm going to give you. Ooh. Don't ever come in for this car and then let him put you on that car. Ooh, y'all heard care that. If it's a C8 and it's a C8, Ooh. don't never let them switch you cars. When they switch cars, it don't benefit you. Ooh. Benefits them. It benefits them. Ooh. The reason why they switching cars is because they got more money to play with in the other car. Then they didn't, and then one they giving you. Mmm. Jim. That's a Jim. That's a Jim, right? It's a Jim. Don't, don't let Bing. them switch cars on you. I'm just telling you, but. Just saying. It's, it's, like I said, so much knowledge. Dirty game. I, I take my wife out for shopping.